Hello there, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little fabric tray. It's really delicate little sides there. I don't think I've used the best fabric to show you the sides of this fabric tray. But it's a really small tray that you can put in your wonder clips if you want. I'm going to use for storing my sewing feet whenever I'm sewing next to the machine. I always take the feet off and on, so I'm going to put them in this little basket next time when I'm sewing. I'll be making this fabric basket, well part of it, out of two inch squares. And I have 25 two inch squares. And you're going to have an internal section that is seven inches by seven inches. You're going to need a piece of fusible fleece it's nice and furry and it provides a little bit of stabilization for your basket and this is seven inches by seven inches first of all we're going to sew the rows together so we're going to sew this row this row this row this row and this row and then we'll come along and sew all of them ones together I use a Baby Lock Soprano. I am currently a Baby Lock educator. I am not paid or sponsored in any way to make this video in the top of the thread we are going to have a white polyester Guterman thread i have also placed my foot sewing foot on that has a quarter of an inch foot with guide and it makes sewing that quarter of an inch really easy i also have a white polyester in my sewing machine and these are the settings that i'll be using for this particular tutorial so quilt all your pieces right side together once that is done, you are then going to sew the rows together. Oh, and at this point, don't forget to press your fabric. Once this is all sewed into place, you are going to press this all down. I am going to press the fusible fleece to the back side of my pieced baskets here, the two inch by two inch pieced. So I'm going to put that on top. And I'm going to deal with, with the iron. Follow your manufacturer's instructions. Cut away any of the excess of the fusible fleece. I cut mine down basically to a 7 inch by 7 inch just for ease of this tutorial. Now you have these two sections. You have this one that has been fused to, to the um, back of the fusible fleece. And you have this section which is the internal section. Now what we're going to do is create some dots into our basket so it has nice sides to it. I'm going to go from corner to corner and I'm going to mark about an inch and a half down the fabric on each corner. Do the same here. Another thing you can do is get a smaller ruler and then just at that inch and a half just do a line that tells you when to stop. Go, I'm going to do another line this way. So here you go, I've got an inch and a half going up and that's where it stops. That's where I'm telling myself that is an inch and a half. So this is the centre line going down here. Now I have this half an inch marker on my mat and from that centre line I am going to draw to that half inch marker like so and I'm going to do the same here. So get it on that half inch right there. So that is my first dot. So I'm going to do that for every single corner. Here we go. Every single corner is done. So I am going to place this right sides together onto my other fabric section. Next thing you're going to do is pin or wonder clip everything into place. We don't have to mark it on our other fabric piece because basically we're going to use this now as our template and we're just going to cut along the lines and just along the outside lines. We don't need to cut 
along the center and chop that and do the same again it's kind of the same way that you do the microwave bowls but you can't put these in the microwave do not put them in the microwave and the reason why you can't put them in the microwave is because we have polyester in the fusible fleece and we have polyester in the thread whenever you're doing the microwave bowls everything has to be cotton so your batten has to be cotton and your your thread has to be cotton otherwise you run the risk of causing a fire so these are not microwavable safe now unclip everything because you're going to have to do these two sections separately so first of all we are going to take this section here and we're going to fold it over and if you've ever done dots and a dress this is exactly the same so you will put these together and you're going to sew right down here you're going to do the same thing with the other side of your bowl just right sides together and sew them into place now what we're going to do is keep this right sides out and we're going to flip this one right sides facing so they're both facing each other like so now you're going to match all of your corners and you're going to put these seams next to each other basically you're going to sew around the basket but you are going to leave at least a two inch opening because you need to turn this right sides through so whatever you need to do to remember put a couple of pins there put a couple of wonder clips there just don't sew the opening cut away any of the threads that are showing here and then all we need to do is push all this right sides through so if you've left at least a two inch opening then you shouldn't have any problems as you go you're going to push through those corners now you can have a bit of an open at the top here you are going to top stitch all the way around your basket the bowl is going to look a little bit flat right now we're going to shape it so see where these points are here just fold it down and just press with an iron and there you go one cute little fabric tray i'll just show you it's a really really gentle lip i don't think you can see from this fabric there you go so just give these a good press and they will shape into this gentle shape 